there has been rising hate attacks against Asians, uh, not just verbally, now it is getting very physical. Uh, from California to Georgia, from 56-year-old ethnic Chinese man knocked unconscious in Metro, to this now famous 75-year-old Chinese lady in San Francisco attacked in the face. As a Chinese American, as an Asian, Yu Sai, how do you feel about all this? Would the situation deteriorate further? Of course the situation would deteriorate further if we don't do something about it. Uh, but we are doing something about it. Uh, you know, last year when COVID started in March, I began to see some anti-Asian um, activities and I was really alarmed. So I actually wrote an open letter. This open letter actually lists a lot of facts and suggestions and also uh, physical tips to teach Asians how to protect ourselves. Unfortunately, today, the situation is worse. It's now a crisis. We are not only verbally abused, you know, people can tell you that people, uh, the strangers come up to me who say, Chinks, go home, or they will be physical. They will push you onto the ground. They will slash your face. They will, uh, but the, the worst thing is like humiliating, like spitting on your face. Or I just read someone was urinated on wow. in the, in the uh, urinated in the subway. Can you imagine that, how humiliating that is? A lot of Asians are so afraid. They deal with this on a day-to-day -day basis. Of course, nothing is worse than the six Asian women that were killed in Atlanta. And this is the worst part of it, really, is that the killer is not even prosecuted with hate crime. This is just serious. In the last 11 months, over 4,000, almost 4,000 cases of hate crime against Asian Americans were reported. This, this That's was just a reported, reported cases. The, yes, yes. These are just reported cases. You have to understand, you know, we are basically very timid people. We don't really make a lot of noise. I really believe that this number is much, much higher. Yeah, unfortunately. Um, Jeremy Lin said has been called coronavirus during an NBA game. Representative Judy Chu says, quote, there is a direct link between Donald Trump's rhetoric and the kind of horrible hate crimes and incidents that Asian Americans across this country are experiencing. Does the terms China virus and Kung flu populated by some politicians create division and discrimination? Unfortunately, racism has always been a part of the U.S. fabric, U.S. culture. This is really unfortunate. You know, we have a history of vilifying minorities, especially in times of crisis. I think it has to do with being, now I may be wrong and, med, and I may be politically incorrect to say this, I think it has a lot to do with the basic instinct of white supremacy. Today, the pandemic really aggravated this situation, as you know. Um, they turned what I called moderate racists into haters because Americans, a lot of Americans are really suffering from this. They, they are really feeling the, um, the hardship due to COVID-19. So they, they were finding, trying to find a scapegoat for this situation. They needed to, they needed to hate somebody, right? Mm -hmm. And Donald Trump just pushed the envelope a little bit. And you know, Donald Trump ha has a lot of fans, right? The second thing I really think fan the situation is the US traditional media. The US media is very strange today. If you turn on the television in America, you will see you watch one channel and watch another channel and you don't believe you are in the same country. Hmm. They're so, so different in the way they present the news. The journalists today are very biased and very divisive. It is really not good. In the old days, you know, in the old days, you know that journalists were trying to find the truth. Today, journalists are trying to find sensationalism. That's really bad. And of course, the third thing I want to say is social media. This institution is horrible. It, it, it allows a lot of lies and untruths to spread like wild, wildfire. And this is a very, very dangerous. And many people really use, use it and exploit it. And the fourth thing I really have to blame on politic politicians. The right-wing politicians really are bad. 
they flame they they fan the, this 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 uh, anti and uh, this anti-Asian discrimination, and, and we really have to blame them for that. 